Get to the end zone will put your player's 1v1 skills to the test. Players will need to combine skills with quick changes of direction and speed while ensuring the ball stays under their close control in order to get the maximum amount of points. Create a 10 by 15 yard area with two end zones two yards in length. Each pair of players will need one soccer ball with one starting as a defender and the other as an attacker. You can put up to three pairs in each area and they can play simultaneously. The defender will start in their end zone with the ball and pass to the attacker in the opposite end zone. The goal for the attacker is to be able to dribble past the defender and stop the ball in their end zone for three points. If they are unable to stop the ball in the end zone and dribble past it, they will get one point instead. If the defender is able to win the ball, they can dribble through the attacker's end zone for one point. And if the ball goes out of bounds, both players will get zero points. For the points to count, the players must be in control of the ball. Attackers must keep their head up and look at the positioning of the defender, how they are pressing and the spaces in behind the defender to attack. To get past the defender they will need to use a skill or body feint combined with a sharp change of speed and direction to drive into the space. To create space in behind the defender, the attacker will need to draw the defender out while being comfortable on the ball under pressure. This will enable them a bigger space to dribble into after they have used a skill, giving them a better chance to stop the ball in the end zone as opposed to dribbling past it. After three attempts, the attacker and defender will swap roles, with the player getting the most amount of points winning the round. The drill on your screen now is also another fantastic 1v1 attacking drill. Like, subscribe, peace.